Him for rat poop. But anyway. So today I'm going out fishing again. Um, I went yes last night. Didn't catch anything. We were out there for like an hour. Um, I had to. I had to. I put a new reel. Well, not new, but I changed out the reel on uh, my brawler setup. Um, just because my other one, the I got snagged in a tree. Um, and I can't find the tag end to that. So I just put it on a uh, Pinnacle Ultra Balance. It's, it's it's a small reel, but it's it holds a lot of line. That's just you know 12 pound mono from Berkeley. But yeah, I'm using that. I'm gonna probably throw some um, spinner baits later on this. But on this I have um, which is these are just really you know basic setups. I don't have nothing like really expensive. I don't have like seven hundred dollar. I don't have like four grand on me to waste on um not waste but they buy expensive fishing stuff on but this one is just my kind of my um wacky worm stuff um live bait because i'm gonna you know my third i threw some wacky worms on this yesterday some sinkos this one is kind of more of my i guess my normal setup because you know it's a six six i usually, i prefer seven but six six medium heavy i medium heavy right yeah medium heavy fast action uh, I wouldn't, yeah, I, I guess fax action is pretty well good, but, you know, 12, uh, I mean, not 12 pound, what am I talking about? I have 30 pound, I believe it's 30 pound, uh, moss green power pro braid, braid on there. I, braid's probably the only stuff I use now. I just have, like, a one-up hook I bought from a couple, a little while ago. Hook, like a light bait hook, which I'm gonna, because the lake I'm gonna go to now, um, there was uh, if anybody who follows me on Instagram, you guys might have saw, saw the photo. But the lake I fish at, they had um, some crayfish in this one in the one of the uh, lakes. I guess you can call it a lake, it's more like a pond. But um, you know, they had some little crayfish in the one of the lakes, like a lot of them, like a big, it was huge. Um, they're pretty decent sized ones. I'm gonna go grab, down there, grab some of those, use that for bait. That's I'm just talking over the plan. Then after that, I'm probably gonna just chuck some spinner, some spinner baits, uh, wacky worms. Uh, I have like two spinner baits. I gotta get some more. Um, I'm gonna go charge this now. Another four hours. I have for half six. I'm gonna charge this up. Um, gonna using these two, that one for life bait and wacky worms, that one for like jigs and spinner baits. But I'm not sure if I should. I think I did show you guys this. I'm used. I got a new digital scale from Amazon. It's 110 pounds uh, scale. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I hated the 50 pound one just because I had feeling hooked into like a really big fish. It was over 50. I don't know. OCD thing. It's the ultimate 54 scale. Uh, I got that off Amazon for like what 30? Not 30 bucks. Can't remember the retail price for this, but it, it, it's it's really. Awesome. It looks like a, you know, looks expensive-ish in the sense of the word, but it's pretty good. Anyway, here's just the footage. I gotta could charge this now. <sighs> okay, we went out later today in the afternoon. It's like, it's like eight, nine in the morning. So, yeah. So it's currently 4:10. Uh, stops there. Even that. Um. Yeah. Shoes on. I'm gonna grab some crayfish. Just tie something out of that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna tie on yet. Right, so I might just catch some bluegill. I have a bluegill on this one. Crawfish on that one. I don't know. So let's go. Got cookie stuff in my hands. I just broke my rod. How does it does not work like that? The third rod I broke too. I don't even know how I broke it. What the heck? Okay, so, yeah, so I was just pulling off some grass, and my my rod my rod broke. I was just saying to myself, "Don't break your rod. If you break your rod today, and all of a sudden it breaks, like it doesn't work like that." Excuse <sighs> my other one now. Oh, we're down to one rod now. One rod in real fishing. Stupid. I hate using monofilament too. Grab some 
absolutely hate using monofilament. Yeah. It's gonna waste another like 50 bucks. Yeah, you, I'm a cheapo guy. But I broke my ride. Stupid. So I thought I'd make a really quick vlog while I wait for my blue girl to you know, stop moving and die right there. Um, having a bad day so far. First of all, breaking a pole that I've had for like three years, three, four years. Second of all, losing like a four pounder. <sighs> I'm like, I'm legitimately down to one rod and one reel now. I have plenty of other reels, but like, like a fish, like a fish lose. I'm at, how big is he? How big is he? That's a big, it's a decent sized one. Yeah, because it's called Blue Go. But anyway, um, sucks. Like, I have to go buy like two other, um, rod, or two other rods now. It's gonna suck. Um, yeah, I just saw, I don't know, probably another two, three pounder earlier. Um, kind of sight fishing. So, I don't know, hopefully I can make a video out of this and just not making stuff and for that are pointless videos. I don't know, I'll just get you guys if I get into a fish, which hopefully I probably won't, but actually I probably won't, I don't know. Right after I ended that vlog, that little vlog, I <laughs> looked into that one. It's my dad's. Um, he's busy, so I just caught it in for him. I'm going to weigh him, actually. He has a really weird mouth on him. He's been caught a lot of times before. Oh, there goes your blue girl. <laughs> nice. Where's my... Look, seals right here. Um, one point, he's one and a quarter. Oh, bigger than I thought. This blue girl's going all over the place. Yeah, how you in there? Yeah, look at his... <laughs> hey, look at his mouth, look. It's weird. Um, that's a sign. That's a good fish, actually. Pound and a quarter. So here, here he goes. At least we know they're here. Okay. Set my camera there. It doesn't fall over. I still have my blue girl too. Because I know this is the same thing. Oh, that wasn't long. Oh. Might be just failing from just playing the area. Not in fish. Here's this one. Not that big. Weigh it. I bet you that's over a pound. Definitely over a pound, but he's not that he's not pushing to. This one one thirty, I'm guessing. Uh, almost one and a half. One point four nine. Yeah, good camera on that. One four nine. Well, there goes my bluegill. Uh, I guess this is me going home. Um, I don't know, two bass I guess is good enough for me. Ooh, this back got shot through. I did such a bad cast on that. It's terrible. So anyway, I guess this is me going home. Um, two fish was good enough for me. Got a couple of bluegill, didn't cut those on tape just because I was trying to get them for bait. Um, I just, um, I'll talk to you guys about the scum off, but it was really cool. I definitely recommend. No, I definitely recommend using um, 
bluegill for bait, it's really fun. Don't you go don't go with like super duper big size bluegill, don't go with like a you know really big bluegill, go with like smaller a size bluegill might be the like maybe four like three to four inch. Uh, I think four inch is still a little big, maybe two to three inches would be good enough. Um, I just use a live bait hook, that's what I use the uh, Wanot. Uh, I believe it's a Gamagatsu live bait hook. Um, simple gear, use you know, whatever pound test you. I, I would prefer to use braid, but I was using just 12 pound mono on this, but I hate, I don't really like mono. But yeah, Ooh. don't die. So yeah, uh, I prefer using them. I recommend you know just use what you guys prefer for catfish bait. I mean not catfish bait, sorry, for um, bass. There was a bass at this, right here on this one of these beds here, but I don't know where you went. So I guess this does it for today's video. Does my dad have a fish? No. Anyway, so I guess this does it for this video. I'll see you guys next week maybe. I don't know. So yes, see you guys next week. Hopefully. Thank you.